Uh, I want to welcome you to the Sonoma Raceway Sim Raceway Performance Driving Center and also the Alfa Romeo uh, Julia launch. My name's Andrew Schoen. Some of you look familiar as we've worked together in the past. Uh, I'm a long-term guy, right? So there's uh, journalists that I've worked with that I have established credibility with through the years and I know what kind of ride I'm going to get. And there's also people that I haven't worked with at all and it's like a box of chocolates. I have no idea, right? Um, so having said that, um, you will establish trust and credibility throughout maybe the, uh, the years to come. Uh, again, my name is Andrew Schoen, one of the lead instructors out at the Sim Raceway Driving Center. My job here is to keep you all very safe, uh, keep the cars safe, and to allow you to experience the, uh, the Julia in the manner that you would choose to enjoy it, right? So a little bit of a track briefing, here's how this is going to unfold. Uh, first of all, my name is Andrew Schoen. There's also Lloyd Reed, who's going to be down in pit lane, as well as a Michael Weldon. Uh, and they're going to be helping you out in pit lane if need be. Okay. Um, the way this is a work, we're going to do a safety briefing. You're going to put up with me for about five, ten minutes. We'll head on down. We'll do a track orientation just to make sure that you have some sort of a semblance of where to place the car, uh, again, for safety. And then you will then get your second half of your X from us which gives you a complete X and you show that to uh, the corner workers and you are clear to evaluate the Alfa Romeo. On the track drive, during that orientation, we'll point out some reference points, on-track references, cones, uh, off-track reference points as well. Uh, some of you might have driven this track, some of you might not have, I have no idea. Um, during that orientation lap, I know you all had hot laps from the Italians and they are like muy rapido, right? Um, it's not your opportunity to impress us or scare us, right? Because you can't and we already are. Um, so, <laughs> right? Um, so just give us a few laps of showing us where to place the car and then the mile an hour that you guys choose to take on your own, that's with you to make those judgment decisions, yeah? Uh, obviously safety, so helmets and seat belts and I feel like Captain Obvious saying that, but uh, I wouldn't be doing my job if I did not. Hi, hey, Mom. All right, so when you guys are out there lapping, your first lap, warm up, feel out the car. Hopefully it's the car that you were expecting to get when you got in it, uh, just making sure things are good. Also locate the corner worker stations. We have corner workers that are gonna be displaying, well, hopefully not displaying any flags to you at all, but they're gonna be in turn two, turn three A, turn four, turn eight, turn 10, and then I've got Jordan right there, turn 12, okay? So locate those corner workers, Checkered flag will be displayed right there at turn number 12, which is essentially the little kink that leads you out on the front straightaway. And then let's do a cool off lap. That cool off lap does not need to take 17 minutes to get around. Let's just go up a gear. Don't go so fast up to the corners that you need to generate heat and friction on the brakes. But again, just kind of keep your focus 100%, reduce pace, and don't forget pit lane to the left of turn 11. Now, this is the third day we've been doing this, and this is probably the 45th talk I've given on safety. I thought I did a great job talking about pit lane speed the last couple days. And I think I did on the pit in, but y'all forgot about the pit out, right? So I'm giving you guys the 25 mile an hour pit out also, right? Um, the bottom line, guys, the, if this is quiet, you're all doing a great job. And everyone's having a great time. If this thing starts getting loud, then we might have the same conversation we're having, except you're in pit lane in a car with a helmet, and I'm just standing in pit lane talking about the same stuff we've talked about. So just do your thing when you're out there, right? Uh, speaking of doing your thing while you're out there, everyone has their own comfort level behind the vehicle, okay? So there are a couple of opportunities for you to get by or to allow others to get by you, okay? So this is where everyone needs to be on the same page, okay? You can only pass in a designated area and the driver being passed must signal you. I'm all gonna play that you're the more comfortable car and hypothetically, you're approaching a car that's less comfortable, okay? That car needs to show you a turn signal so that you have 100% clarity. They know you're there and they are telling you what side to go past them on, okay? All the passes, and if I'm telling you stuff you already know, then just bear with me. If it's new information and you're not clear, ask questions. All of the passing will be done to the inside of the upcoming corner. The car that is being passed stays predictable. Continue to drive online. You've been sort of, for lack of a better term, you've been caught 
that car will find a way around you. They're not expecting you to move out of the way for them. Be predictable, okay? Now, turn four to seven on the right. I'm gonna show you a track map in just a second. Yes, sir. You say take the inside line to pass. Yes. What happens if you got a turn signal to the left? Then you gotta, well, you then guess, okay, you answer that question. If you got a signal, if the, okay, don't take it as the answer. If somebody gives you the wrong information and it's the wrong thing, but you're thinking, well, I know this isn't a passing zone and I know it's not the wrong, the right side, but he's telling me, she's telling me, I, we're on the same page, we're cool, I'm gonna, t no. Okay, so you have to get a point by with a signal, right, in a designated passing zone in the right area, okay? Turn four to seven, which is an upcoming right-hand turn, so that would be on the inside. Turns 10 to 11, that's a right-hand turn, so that more comfortable car would be on the right, and that less comfortable car would give you that signal to the right. And then the only one that's on the left, you're going up the front straightaway approaching a left-hand turn, so that car would signal you to the left-hand side, the inside of the upcoming turn, okay? So again, if you get a point by that's not in a passing zone, don't take it. If you're in a passing zone and you don't get a point by, don't take it. So it's sort of point by the in the passing is, zone. The finger needs to go outside the window? Signal, or? signal, oh, signal. Yeah, keep just, okay. that's the easiest way. Yeah, yep, for sure, for sure. Okay. Like I said, guys, we're here to be safe. If you've done this before, you know you're invited guests. It's a beautiful event. Come on out, evaluate wine dine and be invited back again. All right, so we don't wanna be seeing any flags, but so you have the information. The corner workers have a complement of flags. If you see a black flag, there's something going on with you that we need to address, right? You might be passing in a non-passing zone. You might have put a wheel into the dirt a little bit. Something happened that we need to address, okay? Speaking of which, if you paint outside of the yellow lines a little bit and you drop a wheel at the exit or at the turn-in or you have two wheels go off the track, come on in for a free safety inspection, right? We need to check the car out. There might be something wrong with it, uh, like a, a rock in the bead or something that you can't feel. We just need to make sure the car is safe. And we'd like to have a little bit of a driver consultation with you because uh, we don't want to repeat the same experiment and hope for a different result, okay? Um, if you run out of talent, and you spin or go off the circuit completely, that's another uh, free invitation into pit lane, okay? Um, thank you. Uh, watching your mirrors. Now remember, there's only three, three places that you can go by somebody, right? So if this were my experience, and I know that the first passing zone's going between turn four and seven, when I'm on the brakes approaching four, that's when I would check my mirror to see if somebody's behind me so I can anticipate that future move. But I'm not gonna spend the entire lap in my mirrors worrying about people. The only time to worry about somebody is approaching the upcoming passing zone. So don't spend too much time in the mirrors. Also, um, drive within your limits. You're all professional, so we expect you to act uh, as a professional, responsible adult behind the wheel. Um, so drive within your limits, and it's a no tolerance deal. So consider this your warning, right? Um, that's like you already got the black stick pointed at you, right? Mom's big finger saying, you know, knock it off, right? So enjoy yourselves, but again, we need to keep things safe, all right? And I believe here's uh, the configuration of Sonoma Raceway that we're going to be running. We are going to be getting into the vehicles right about here. What's the pit lane speed? 25. In and out. Okay? I know that, so that car sounds great and you can grab some gears and listen to that exhaust crack, but on the track, right? So 25, blend in out onto the racing surface and there are reference cones out there and we'll point them out just in a sec. You guys are gonna be running downhill into turn four. So uh, again, you're not working with gravity going uphill. So this is gonna be a heavy braking zone. Get in those carbon ceramic brakes. This is the first passing zone, okay? So approaching a right-hand turn, coming up into 7A, you're going all the way out. Check your mirror, right blinker. Let's get that done before the corners. We don't want any side-by-side -side stuff, right? If you can't get that done or you don't get it done, that's fine. Drive through, continue down through IndyCar 99A, and then the second passing zone would be between 10 and 11. Again, approaching a right-hand turn, so you'd be setting up on the left for corner theory. Up, oh, car behind me, mirror to the right, they go by down the inside. Third passing zone, out onto the front straightaway. I'm approaching a left-hand turn, turn one, so I'm on the right, and my left blinker goes on to signal that car behind to go ahead and go by. 
right? Get the signal in the zone, you're good. Thank you.